Hi guys, so maybe about six months ago, I made some Rilakkuma tarts and Rilakkuma Reese's cups and this is what it kind of looked like and I actually got a lot of requests to make this but at the time I thought because I was making the Rilakkuma tart tutorial, you guys probably didn't want to see another one that was similar to it but I have decided to start selling these molds again so I'm going to show you how to make this Rilakkuma Reese's cup by request. I'm going to be using Sculpey 3 chocolate and gold for this tutorial. I'm going to be using this mold and I'll provide all the information for this at the end of the video. You're going to place a thin layer of the chocolate at the bottom of the cupcake base and you're not going to fill it all the way up. What you're going to want to do is spread the clay so that it kind of travels up all the sides. So this is what it should look like, kind of scooped out in the middle and it doesn't have to look perfect because we're going to cover it with gold clay for the filling of the recess. You're going to fill the center and again you're not going to fill it all the way up. So I've blended out the peanut butter portion and now we're just going to take some more chocolate clay and then cover it up. So this is kind of what it looks like smoothed out and then you can kind of just remove all your fingerprints by rubbing your finger over it. After you remove it from the mold, this is what it should look like and this is pretty much it. If you wanted to kind of like make these regular pieces and just put deco den on top, I think that's really cute. But we're going to take it a step further and you can cut this any way you want. So if you want to make it a friendship cookie, um, you could cut it right down the middle. Or if you just wanted to take a bite off of it, I'm using this flour cutter and I'm just going to take a chunk off right there. You can choose to bake both pieces if you wanted to, but I'm probably not going to use this small piece for anything. So I'm just going to bake this part and I think this is super cute. If you wanted to make it a larger bite, you can just keep using your flour cookie cutter and taking chunks away. Don't forget to add your eye pin and bake. You don't necessarily even need this particular mold to make Reese's cup. You could just use a regular cupcake base and just do the same thing that I showed you here. Pretty much this will work for any kind of cupcake molds you have. Heart, star, bear. It's just that this bear kind of tart shape is pretty uncommon. <laughs> so again, these will be listed on my store MV. I sold them before in March to about May and they sold out pretty quickly. And I only have a limited stock because I only have so much mold maker. I won't be able to make a lot. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, I hope you guys enjoy this tutorial and I will talk to you later. Bye!